New level of concern for Abilene and the big country. Right now, there are no available ICU beds in Abilene. On Monday, Hendrick Health releasing their latest COVID community dial, the current level now at level two of concern. And all 34 Abilene ICU beds are full with COVID-19 patients. Only two of those patients were vaccinated. Taylor County currently has a vaccination rate lower than the rest of the state and even the nation at only 38.8% of the county inoculated against COVID. And the Delta variant on the rise and Texas city leaders are asking residents to get vaccinated. The conversation sparking between city leaders during council budget hearings today. Kate Hebb's Marley Capper brings us our top story at five. Probably likely missed, missed the ability to do anything that's going to be meaningful for the Delta variant. Right now, there are no available ICU beds in Abilene. In the last two days, they've had to deny 24 transfers because they don't have any more capacity. Annette Lerma, public health director, says it's putting other patients at risk. If we fill it up with COVID patients and then you happen to have a heart attack, is there going to be somebody available to take care of you? And while city manager Robert Hanna says we may have missed the window to stop the current spike from the Delta variant. The rule of thumb is that we're not done with COVID. Right, we may be done with it, but COVID's not done with us. People getting vaccinated may be the only solution to calm down future spikes. Really was just not too sure of it. Taylor County is far behind the state and national average of 50%, with only 38.8% of residents vaccinated. I fought to, to, to fight cancer and kick its butt. I don't want COVID to, to, to get to me. Susan Weber says negative comments on social media is what held her back from getting her shot. I was scared. You know, I was that person of saying, no, I don't trust it. The vast majority of new infections are coming from a younger population. Uh, the average age of hospitalization went from 65 or 68 down to like 55 or 60. So that's a fairly significant decline. Which is why city leaders are asking people to get their shot. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on. Marley Capper, KTAB News. Thank you, Marley. Right now, the city of Abilene has 500 employees still unvaccinated. And city leaders are looking at a way to offer incentives to motivate more vaccines. The city council did agree on a new tax rate, dropping just slightly from 0.7877 down to 0.7851. For the link to watch that budget hearing or the vaccine conversation, you can go to our website, bigcountryhomepage.com.